hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl alice aka that gilly chick so guys today in this video i'll be showing you guys the continuation of how to make this beautiful bridal is auto gilly all by yourself so sit back watch learn and enjoy and if you like what you see do not forget to kindly support your girl subscribe to my youtube channel like comment and share my videos so we started this tutorial some days ago and then this is the continuation that's this is the part two of the video that will show you how we completed this auto gilly so i'm just going to tie the the soon um ashuki that i have made my pleatings and um attach my crown to it and then i'll just tie it on my mannequin head and then you're going to practically start tying gilly on the mannequin head so that takes me to advising you to learn how to tie gilly so if you don't know how to tie this gilly style at all i'm going to put the link in the description box or on the end screen so you can just click on it to watch how to tie this gilly style so it can help you achieve this auto gilly style on your mannequin head guys so i'm just picking 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 like the first two are where that are the first two joining you just make sure you pick um pleatings as if you're tying around but when you've exhausted the first two the remaining last two you know it's four joining we have for the 50 or 47 inches you have there so the last two you start creating your fan so you pick little by the side and bigger side it towards um, the top little slant bigger at the top little slant bigger at the top like so like so until you're done So right now guys i'm done making my fan and my pleats so i'm just going to tie it down with this rope and then do the same thing to the other end of the ashoki i'm going to arrange so this particular fan i have done here the picking I'm, I'm just going to be tracing it from this side so that makes the work easy once you just pick up um and make your fan or your pleatings by the one end it will already give you this easy um easy means easy way to like just trace it down to the other one and keep it into the other side so right now i'm just doing the same to the side So beautiful people, if you're new to the family, my name is Alice aka Tad Gilly Chick. I am an Ibadan based makeup artist, Gilly artist. I make beautiful auto Gilly. I make beautiful bridal hand fan. I also work with the NYSC working with um, Nigerian Youth Service Corps, yeah, NYSC. So if you have a friend, you have a brother, you have a sister, you know someone at Oyo State or you know Oyo State 7 at the Copa, you can refer them to us recommend us for them to come and acquire a skill guys so and make sure you hit on the subscription button to join the family if you haven't and to keep getting amazing content on this channel on how to do a lot of diy stuff and if you have any idea or you know something else you want us to to do on this channel you want us to do any tutorial just go ahead and type it down in the comment section and i'll be um sure so go through that and plan towards doing that tutorial for you guys so i'm just cutting out the extra strap right now by the hand so you make sure that before you cut it that strap is on that plaster gung, 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 gung. it has to be on that plaster so that you not go and over cut and your fan or your crown will not be able to go around so you want your utogili to be able to go around so make sure is at the end where your plaster 
the place where you put down your plaster that is where you start cutting it i don't know if you understand but watch just watch the video over and over again you understand what i am doing so what i cut out from that strap so this is what i have i have like 12 inches if you have like 10 inches is still okay 8 inches is still okay so i'm just going to fold it like so and i'm going to sew it all around the handle you see that So guys i'm done putting the uh, strap on the both hands so right now i'm about to tack my auto gilly so the pleatings we made we have to tack it down so you're, but you're not tacking everything just watch carefully what i am doing and you're trying to tack it in the way that your thread is not going to show you are going to conceal your thread so the space the point at which you put your needle and thread should not be far from where you are bringing it back but make sure you are slanting as you're sewing so that it can be able to move around i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying but please help me to understand so you see be careful not to pick all your fans there's a way you just tack your fans you don't want it to be so obvious just watch carefully guys i'm sure you understand So note that you're not tacking everything like all the way from this side to all the way down to the other side. You're just concentrating in three points or at three points. You're concentrating on the middle. You're tacking the middle and then the side by side as the left and the right. So it's not as if you're sewing everything all the way around. No, you're just tacking the side by side and then the middle. That's all. And make sure you don't you don't tack those. You see those um steppings that fan effect that first three you are saying that is big you don't tack that one so i'm done tacking right now i'm going to trim out the hand to make it look smaller um smaller and slimmer so i can be able to um so it can be very very petite and handy whenever the owner wants to tie it so i'm just going to trim it out in a shape like this and then i'll show you guys how to fold and um, sew it down
so guys i'm sorry that my puffed <laughs> ankara hand is showing organza hand is showing so i'm done sewing it so i'm going to do the same thing on this other strap as well so right now i'm done but you see this um this little space in there that my machine can't run through i'm going to try my best to use my needle and try to sew it down very neatly and carefully so take your time and sew it down completely in the way that your thread will not be obvious guys you need to give your clients a neat job so they can come back to you again So guys when you're done make sure you trim out all the thread check out if there is thread anywhere around and trim it out you want your photo guinea to look clean on flick and neat so guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you find this photo guinea tutorial useful and helpful to up your photo guinea game do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't like this video comment on this video share this video with someone guys Thank you for watching. I remain your one and only that day chick. Sign up now. Bye bye.